All right, so today I want to talk to you about, of all things, a dishwasher. My dishwasher in my home, and um, I've been having problems with it for the past few months, I would say, maybe longer than that, where uh, the LED display uh, does not react, it doesn't show any time, or it shows just random segments. Uh, recently, in the past couple weeks, I've been having problems where the uh, touchpad, either on the front or the touchpad down here, does not work whatsoever. Some of the LEDs don't light, and I've been having problems with that. So I want to uh, talk to you about repairing that situation in this dishwasher. This happens to be a Maytag. I believe it's a uh, MDB76. 01, 7601 AWB, I believe the black, the B stands for black on this one. And so I thought I'd talk to you about replacing the control panel assembly with all the touch pads in it, including the front touch pads and the LED display. Uh, if your dishwasher's anything like my dishwasher, the first thing you want to do is find where it's plugged in, and in most cases it's going to be plugged in underneath your sink. Mine does have a plug back here. So you wanna find that plug and of course, first thing most important, unplug it. So that you do not get shot and potentially kill yourself in the process of trying to fix just a dishwasher situation. So let's talk about disassembling the dishwasher. Okay, so we've got the dishwasher open here and the first thing you want to do is begin by removing all the screws that hold the little plastic liner to the door. There are 11 screws on this one and they're not standard screws, they are Torx bit screws and they are a T20 on this particular model that I have here. So I'm going to start by taking those out. Okay, I've got all the screws out of the dishwasher now, so the next thing I'm gonna do is simply just lift up. It can expose the two halves, the door versus the um, control or the inner lining of the dishwasher. Let me move the camera up here. And what you wanna look for is a couple plugs. The soap dispenser plug needs to be disconnected, as well as the vent plug. Once that's done, you can just simply lift and completely set away the inner liner of the dishwasher. Now you notice that um, it doesn't want to stay open because the weight of the dishwasher liner actually holds the door open. So you're going to have to put something on the door at this point to weight it down. So I've gone ahead and I've put the uh, my toolbox liner on the top of the door to hold it down. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the cover from the uh, circuit board assembly. Those are quarter inch hex bolts. Just one comes out, the cover lifts up. You can at that point unplug the uh, two uh, connectors for the ribbon cables that connect the uh, touchpad assembly. I need to go ahead and take the other two screws completely out of the control panel assembly. It can be just folded out of the way along with the uh, door latch assembly. To remove the whole control panel assembly, it's just a simple matter of removing these quarter inch hex bolts there. Now once it's been removed, it just lifts completely out of the out of the way. Okay, so what I found on this one is where the uh, flex cables. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Hopefully, you can still see this. Where the flex cables go through the little gaps here, there have, has been a little bit of corrosion. And um, I'm going to take a couple steps to prevent that in the future. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the new touchpad assembly 
just get under it with a fingernail or if you have a little screwdriver or something. It's held on with adhesive, so just be very careful not to flex it too terribly much. And it'll actually just pop right off of there. You can pull the cable out through the hole. Had to be manufactured somehow, so there's the cable through there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of silicone, RTV. I'm going to apply the silicone, and they should have done this at the factory, I believe, but I'm going to apply the silicone right around where the cable goes through, as well as I'm going to apply the silicone on the back. And right in here is where the problem was, where the corrosion occurred because moisture got up into here. So I'm going to try to completely seal it with silicone. I'm going to stick it through there. So I've got silicone on the back. Just make sure you try to place it as closely as you possibly can. Just go ahead and press the adhesive down. Some of the silicone oozed out. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it oozed out right here. That's a good thing. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to put a quick little bead of silicone all the way around. I'm going to fill up that gap so no moisture can actually get in there. I'm going to go all the way around it here. And I'm going to let that harden for just a little bit before I wipe off the excess. And um, I'm going to do the same thing to this touch pad here. This one comes off virtually the same way. It's just held on with adhesive, nothing to be scared of. Pull it out of here. Put some silicone around here. This is going to create an airtight seal. I just wanted to show you, I had to cut off early. I, the part I was filming was out of the frame, but I have filled uh, completely on the inside of this touchpad assembly. I've uh, put silicone uh, on the inside of it to, pre to prevent air and moisture from contacting the silver plating in the circuit board anymore. So I've got that one all ready to go. Everything looks great on it. We're going to go ahead and uh, reassemble the dishwasher and um, we'll go from there. Probably kind of hard to see on the video, but um, I've got the touch panel back on here now. And um, they, on the circuit board that's in here, uh, everything with the exception of the relays and the connectors is already coated with a thin film of silicone to prevent moisture buildup, condensation on here. And so, um, just wanted to show you that. I think they should have done a little bit more with the touchpad assembly. As for reassembling these ribbon cables, it's a uh, push-pull kind of connector. When it's pulled out, the cable can be inserted in there, push it in to lock it into place. So pull the connector out, put the cable in until you feel a light stop, push the retainer back in, it locks it into place. Make sure you put the cover back on this before reassembling. The latch assembly just kind of sits in place here. When you go to reassemble the inner panel here, you can just kind of stand it up, plug on the connector for the uh, soap dispenser, and this is the connector for the drain vent. There is a little piece of uh, foam, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but where the drain vent, I don't think you can, let me move the camera over. Uh, down here there are three holes and this mates to it. This is where the drain vent uh, releases when it's in the drain mode. It opens a solenoid so air can flow into the dishwasher to aid in the, uh, the removal of the water. 
make sure that little foam piece is still down in there. What I was going to say though is when you go to reassemble this, down here at the bottom of the dishwasher tray, uh, there is a lip and this lip needs to be, uh, the, the door needs to go up over the top of the lip. So it's kind of sometimes hard to get it into position. But the door kind of hooks underneath the lip. So you just need to make sure that the door, the lip comes up and the door goes over it like this so it can uh, move freely. And uh, then just go ahead and reassemble the screws, plug it in and give it a test. All right, so I've got the screws back in it. One thing I wanted to say as you go ahead and reassemble these Torx screws, uh, these uh, three on each side on the bottom go into the uh, sheet metal uh, front of the dishwasher. Just make sure you don't over torque those and strip the sheet metal. These on the top up here, they do go into the plastic housing. So I've got that all set up. I've gone ahead and uh, siliconed around both of these so that you can now uh, prevent, oh, there's a little piece I missed right there. So hopefully that will uh, keep moisture from getting back down inside there. I'll just have to peel that off later. So hopefully we'll get many more years of use out of this dishwasher without having to go buy a new one at this point in time. Just not quite ready for a new dishwasher. So let me go ahead and plug it in and we'll give it a test. All right, we've got it plugged in now. And um, I do get lights when I press the button now. They're all working very nicely. In addition to, I do have a display. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell it to do a, a quick rinse. Close the door. Hit start, I hear the water running into it, that's fine. So I think we've um, saved another appliance as the case may be. I'm, I normally, if you watch my videos, know that I uh, primarily specialize in electronics such as TVs and items like that, but uh, it's a dishwasher, it has electronics in it, so I thought I would take the challenge. I appreciate you watching, I appreciate all the subscribers that have been watching my videos and uh, we kept another item out of the junk heap. Thank you and have a great day.